Soul Korea. Never been to Seoul, never thought I was going to Seoul, but I went to Seoul Korea. And after I met them, and I talked for a minute, I said, you know what? I got your name. And they said, what, Mr. B.B.? I said, y'all live in Seoul? You got Seoul. <laughs> so I'm going to name you Korean Seoul. <laughs> y'all put your hands together and go all the way from Seoul, Korea. Korean Because for the last year, actually on October the 9th, they reminded me that it was a year ago that I flew to Seoul and we met. So for the last year, I'm telling you, I have been so blessed by these four young men. Um, and just the talent, beyond the talent, their hearts. And so I would like to introduce you to, tell me your name, Jiwa. I'm Jiwan from South Korea. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Young Jin. Okay. Uh, I'm Sean Lee. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so last time I learned some G for hello from David. <laughs> what up, though? <laughs> I'm Sue.
God came in as though yesterday when David and David took them out. They came back to the whole town and said, Mr. Bibi. He said, what? He said, we learned how to dance. Like David. Like David. Like David. Y'all be busy. Be busy, be busy, be busy. But, 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 but then they, 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 they. I was just totally overwhelmed. And, and just to learn how gospel music was making a difference all the way in Seoul, Korea. And when you hear about Korea, you just hear about a lot of craziness, but God is in the mix. Ah, he's in control everywhere. And so they sang that for me, and then they sang the song, and, and I thought, well, now we gotta sing that when we get to perfecting, and then, not only will we sing it, but y'all be okay if Marvin join y'all? Yeah. <laughs> 
because they're finding their words in English. I've learned a lot um, in Seoul, Korea. They learn English, but they don't speak English. And so it's been quite funny at times when they you know, mess up the words. And they, I said, well, don't feel bad because I don't know no Korean, so you shouldn't be saying it at all. But, but, but I wanted them to have words on, on what God is doing in how they see. First of all, Sorry for my bad English. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, yes, um, I don't believe we came here because we did something good or great. I believe we came here by just only by God's grace. Yeah. So we are not. I believe we are not good. We are not good. That good singer. We just. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because we are we are not black people. We are just um, we're just Korean people. And I learned this kind of dancing and oh this kind of thing by YouTube. So <laughs> but I love to but I love to Worship God and I love to praise God and honor God. I believe God is everywhere. God is every country and every church. But um, one of one of the things that I felt in Korea is that um, the service in Korea is not that active like um, black church like here. So when I was in Korea, I really wanted to praise God. With my all of my heart and all of my all of my feelings. So when I was in, in this morning service, the morning, I felt oh, it's, it's my very first time to feel that kind of spirit of the Lord that I, I never danced. I never danced like this before this afternoon. I just I just, just sang and not dancing at all. It was my, oh, I was speechless. It was, yeah, thank God, thank God. And, uh, I just want uh, to say, thanks God. And I heard it, uh, this is the 30th anniversary. Uh, I think we are the one who came from the most far country in this place yeah. to celebrate the 30th anniversary. Uh, we celebrate and salute the uh, 30th anniversary the Perfecting Church. Thank you for inviting us. God bless you all. Thank you very much. Um, this is my dreams come true because I, I always pray to God I, I want to be a gospel singer in the USA, but, but I'm Korean, it's okay. And every Korean friend you can't do that. You, you cannot sing. But I think in my Holy Spirit said and God said, you can do it. You can do this. Not go on, but I can do for you. So, this is it. I'm sorry, first I'm sorry, I'm, I'm really, really not good at speaking English. <laughs> so, uh, at first, thank you for inviting us, and thank you for being whiners, and big show mommy whiners, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and now I really, I feel just so weird. It is so weird to me. And um, no, <laughs> 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 in, in a 
morning in the last morning service, uh, I, I I was just crying. I, I can't stop crying. I don't know what, what I feel. I don't know why I cry, but I just feel like something something spiritual. Yeah, so I I, I never couldn't stop stop just crying. Uh, And so even at the service at, at, at the gala, um, when we were in the car going home, when I was driving them home, it just reminded me of me and my brothers. I used to drive the van for the windings. It's like, Lord, what's happening? <laughs> now I'm driving for three and so. But I'll rejoice them, you know, rejoice them, you drive them. And, um, and then the, 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 the Shulion said, Bibi, he was talking about Jiwon, they said, we never saw him cry. He was just crying uncontrollably. And I, I, we would sit, because after, after we would work out, they'd been getting it done. Let me just say that. They'd been getting it done at four in the morning. And every morning they'd wake up and say, we ready, Mr. Bibi? And then uh, we would run, and then we would go to, to where, where, where we go eat. Uh, Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Biscuit and gravy and grits. Grits, right. And then after we... <laughs> okay. All right. Yes, thank you. And then, and then we would read the word of God. And I would sit there and I would tell them, God is doing this. Believe him and let him, allow him to just break you. Allow him to make you what he wants you to be. He's going to do incredible things, not only in the United States, but right there in Korea. Right there in Korea. And so I learned that what the story was saying is that they learned gospel music from all the gospel singers in this city and in the Clark sisters, the windings, this was their, their ritual. Every day they would learn and be blessed by what we've been doing. And so one song they were blessed by is
It's, I, I've been just, I've been blessed. I really have been blessed. Been blessed by these young men. Bishop, I told, I told Mama in the back, you know, we, they've been at the house for about, um, about a week, and um, I had to go out of town, and so I left them in charge, and Sean has been driving them around to the bank, and they said, when I got back home, they said, Mr. Beatty, uh, we went and we ate like all the hamburgers. <laughs> where, where did y'all eat? First day, uh, we went to Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. Second day, Wendy's. Wendy's. And third is Chick fil A. And fourth day, Panda Express. Yeah. Panda Express. But I love it, though. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> there was reason. They was missing out on the Asian kind of cuisine, so they went to Panda Express. So they came downstairs because before, before we went to, before they came to Nashville, we stopped in St. Louis, we're in Los Angeles. And it's, it's been amazing how they have met people that they didn't know have been listening to them. And I would take them places going to, to sing at, at the Hollywood Bowl and Shaka Khan came up to them and said, I love y'all. And they was like, oh, oh Shaka Khan. <laughs> Saw the red car last night. They said, Ooh, gospel rose, gospel rose. <laughs> but, but, so, so, and so it was at that house, and they came to me. They said, Mr. BB, that envelope. And I said, What's that? They said, We, we stayed at your house for a week, and so we just wanted to give you um, a gift. And they, I opened up the, the thing, it was $1,200. And I said, Well, Y'all don't have to, no, no. They said, no, our mother taught us. We have to, we have to, you know, give. So now I know a lot of other black folks who came to my house. They gave me a time. They got her mama. She came to my house. So let's write a song like this. You will write a song. And so in the piano room, I said, just go in there and stay there and come out with something. So I came back home and they said, we have a little something. I said, okay, all right, so let's, let's try it. And then we, we listened and we worked with it. And bring out your phones, bring out your phones. Started the first verse, okay? And it's a hit song, it really is. It's that good. Ready, first verse, man. Not imagine they could be down on my knees, asking you to please. Lord, I need to hear your voice, to make the right choice, asking you to please. Chorus. It's amazing. Impossible, I was working out for me. 